Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create arrays. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D and how to navigate the scene. For this, you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. In 3D Studio Max you can create arrays easily using the different arrays tools that the program offers. This toolbar for the arrays. If doesn't appear, you can select it, making right click on an empty space in other toolbar. And in this list select extras. That in the moment doesn't have a sign at left. Click on extras, and here it is. Create an array is simple, to create it. Select the object or objects for the array. In the scene we have the spheres. And clicking the array button. This one. The array window appears. At the top we find the options to control a position, rotation and scale. Using the total or incremental values. Below it we have the preview option. Click here to visualize what's happening. And, note that here is already selected the option for only create an array in one dimension, creating 10 copies of the spheres. Here we have the different types of copies. If you need more info about the types of copies, you can check my tutorial of how to copy one or more objects in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Now, having the preview enable and modifying its values, you can create the array. For example, clicking on Z. With the move values, we can increase the separation measured between the components of the array. Like this. In incremental, also increase or decrease the values for the scale in the X, Y, and Z. And you can increase or decrease the count of elements in the array, like this. As you can see, each object is smaller than the previous one. If you click this arrow, and... If you set the same values in the total section, you can note that the object size changes, but for all the objects in the same proportion. To make it more interesting, this time select the incremental section, clicking this arrow. And, you can rotate the array around the axis X, Y or Z. Rotating around the Z axis, creates an interesting effect. Now if you select array in 2D, and increasing the count for 2D, and setting the values for X, Y and Z, you have more groups of the same array. Works in the same way for the 3D arrays. This way. You can play with these values to create very interesting arrays. But first, if you want to apply new values, click on Reset All Parameters. If you click and hold it down, over the array button, you will find more options. The second one is Snapshot. This helps us to make copies of an object over a path. In the scene we have an object that looks like a duck, and a line that will be the path for a row of ducks. The first step is linking the duck and the path. All you have to do, is Select the duck, and In the main menu bar Click an animation Here, and move the mouse pointer over constraints. In this list select the path constraint. Immediately the mouse pointer becomes into a cross, so now, make left click over the path. The path is this curved line. Note, that the duck moves to the extreme of the line. If you move the duck, this only moves on the path. See. But is not aligned to the path. And, is looking another way. To fix it. 
In the command panel, is already selected the motion tab. Here, click on an empty space and hold it. And move it until you find the group of path options. And enable, follow. The the tenth is already selected. Now, if you move the duck, it follows the path and is aligned with it. And enabling, flip. The duck is on the right direction. C. And if you click on the button and play animation. At the bottom of the window. This one. You can see that 3D Studio Max automatically create an animation for the object. Now the array. With the duck selected. Click on snapshot in the extras bar. This window appears, and here you can choose between make a single copy or several copies, choosing range. From 1 to, therefore set the range of animation frames for the copies. From 0 to 100, the program will place the ducks along all the path. But, for example, from 0 to 50, the program will locate the ducks along the first half of the path. This time, 80. To see how it works. And the number of copies, let's say, 18. And select the clone method and OK. As you can see, we have now a row of 18 ducks perfectly aligned with the path. Is not until the end of the path, because we selected the range from the frame 0 to 80. If we had selected the full range, we now have the ducks placed until the end of the path. This tutorial will continue. Find the second part of this tutorial and www.macrotutorials.com.